Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. I welcome you all to the first CO2 review of 2020, where we shall be analyzing the second report uh, of this year. I wish all of you a very happy new year and a very successful 2020. It's going to be a very interesting year. Uh, that's my opinion. And we shall start this review as usual with the largest changes in commercials positions. Now you can see we have the Brazilian real on top. By the way, we are going to be looking at mainly currencies uh, in the first part of this review since we had some pretty large changes uh, all over the market, um, the currency market. So uh, starting off with the Brazilian real, we have a 33% change in commercials positions. You can see that on the chart. Uh, don't forget, we are talking about currencies where I would uh, say that uh, changes above 12-15% uh, are generally considered large, much larger than average. Uh, it's, it's not as uh, in case of, uh, let's say, indexes or, or other markets where uh, these changes can be considered closer to average change sizes. So nevertheless, this is a bearish COT change signal suggesting some further weakness coming early next week. Uh, if we move on to the five years chart, you can see that we have been in a very bullish COT extreme territory for a few months now without any uh, serious change in the major trends. So we might actually see uh, traders move back towards their bullish extremes, meaning commercials uh, starting to build up their net long positions again, uh, commercials going back to net short territory, much shorter territory that they are right now. And of course, if that happens, uh, we may see some further weaknesses in the market coming. So the chain signal is quite obvious. Uh, the extreme has been bullish, but we didn't see any reaction from the market. Uh, so we may expect this uh, trend to continue on for the next couple of weeks, month, maybe even years. Our next market will be the Australian dollar, where we have a similar change size in commercials positions, 32% to be exact. Again, with this uh, is a much larger uh, change than average. It is bearish, uh, suggesting some further weakness uh, in the next couple of days. And if we move on to the five years chart, you can see that here we had that bullish extreme uh, back in uh, October, but 2018. And uh, it's quite obvious that there has been no uh, major reaction from the market, uh, which suggests that this decline could easily continue on uh, for many, many months or possibly years before we reach. And of course, in that case, we would expect a very significant, close to all time, or possibly an all time bullish COT extreme in the market. That's not uh, happening right now. So we should be patient and uh, uh, be careful uh, with any uh, sudden long trades in the Australian dollar right now. Our next market is the Euro British pound pair. Uh, where you may see a much shorter uh, historical data. The uh, CFTC started uh, publishing data on uh, this market uh, early 2016. Uh, and uh, because of that, I would uh, warn cautiousness uh, analyzing uh, any extremes here. Uh, in, in such cases, uh, as similar to um, uh, cryptocurrencies, because of the very short historical data, uh, you can get uh, uh, very significant warnings, all-time COT extremes more often than in markets that have longer history. So nevertheless, this is a, uh, I would say, in relative terms, more bullish extreme than uh, than bearish, of course. Uh, but, you know, there are so many markets to analyze. I would really suggest you to move on and, and really look around. Uh, we have basically all, uh, all the data available at COT base. Um, and uh, you can look at uh, better opportunities maybe elsewhere. Moving on to large speculator COT extreme and skipping metal complex, that's something for our subscribers. Uh, but the gasoline market also has a all-time COT extreme in large speculators. Uh, of course, commercials are very, very close to their uh, all-time extremes as well. This is a bearish COT extreme suggesting some weakness coming in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we had similar extremes in the past. This one from April of 2019, a very a good example uh, what the market uh, did. And then an example from October of 2018, again, a very uh, successful signal. So we're at those levels right now. We may expect the market to continue its downward uh, movement. Platinum is our next market where we have the all-time COT extreme. Uh, but it's uh, it's present not only in large speculators, but also in commercials. 
Uh, again, this is a bearish COT extreme and just showing you a few examples from the past when we had uh, bearish extremes, you may see these being very successful signals. So we may expect platinum to uh, head uh, lower in the next couple of weeks or month. Uh, it's a very uh, obvious uh, COT signal. And uh, last but not least, let's have a look at the rough rice market where we have a 446 report extreme in large speculators, 432 in commercials. Again, uh, this is a very significant extreme bearish coming at a, uh, a high, basically. A very, very good combination uh, from the technicals uh, and uh, from the COT reports perspective. So uh, I would say, you know, the first part we've been analyzing changes in currencies, not necessarily the, the, the most obvious uh, pictures over there, but uh, sw switching to large speculators uh, extreme positioning, you may see some very great examples or uh, possibly good opportunities to uh, take advantage of. Uh, that was all for this uh, review, but of course, don't forget there's a lot to do here at COT Base uh, uh, with the COT reports. You can, of course, look at all of the COT reports uh, on, on all markets. Uh, we have all the newest uh, report types, uh, other data types to analyze, uh, all the data sets uh, that are important. Uh, and of course, you can do a more in-depth and detailed COT analysis by looking at multiple report uh, change analysis. Uh, you can analyze the COT index, the move index. You can uh, check the long-term trend indicator and of course add the very important volume and open interest analysis to your uh, global analysis as well. So I appreciate your attention. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for being with me. I wish you a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you next week. Actually, sorry, uh, next week I will be a broad. I uh, might not be able to uh, uh, do the review, so sorry about that, but um, uh, you can come to COT Base at any time and do the analysis yourself, I would say. If you've been watching these reviews, it should be quite uh, clear how to do the analysis. And of course, we have a lot of uh, material on COT Base uh, that you can uh, look at. We have uh, these this on COT page with a lot of written materials. Uh, also, we have some great tutorial videos for you that you can uh, check and see how uh, COT analysis is done. I appreciate your attention again. Thank you very much for being with me. Take care and goodbye.